I want to briefly speak on Alicia Keys and her getting her son's fingernails painted. Now, I really don't know why it's such a big surprise to a lot of black people. I don't even know why her video has gone viral. I really don't understand because a lot of these people that claim to be upset with Alicia Keys getting her son's fingernails painted, especially a lot of dudes, not just black females, but there's a lot of black dudes, man, that came after people like me and called people like me homophobic when I was speaking against the gay agenda. So if you guys supported the gay agenda, because remember, according to a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all said that you had brothers and sisters and nieces and uncles and nephews and friends, different relatives that was gay. So when I spoke out against sodomy and homosexuality, a lot of y'all referred to me as homophobic. Some of you said that, why am I so concerned about what other people do or what other men do in their bedrooms? So why are you so concerned about Alicia Keys son and she getting her son's fingernails painted? See, I'm not really I'm not really grasping why a lot of y'all are so upset, especially because of the fact that you protest hard right alongside with the sodomites. You protested hard, man, in favor of them getting benefits. And I said to many of y'all, even back then, that it's not about benefits. I told you a long time ago about this gay agenda. Now, what I find quite interesting is that I hear a lot of people refer to the gay agenda. Now, I'm not, I try not to be like a lot of people on YouTube that, that will come out and say, I started this and I'm the first that did this and I'm the first that said this and I'm the first. But I'm going to say I'm probably one of the first, if not the first person that ever mentioned gay agenda. I made a video on my Fearless 2005 channel before I deleted it. And I talked about the gay agenda. I talked about the gay Bible. I had talked about the gay bomb. I spoke. There's a lot of videos that I spoke on warning about what the gay agenda was about. And many of you black people, the same ones that's protesting against Alicia Keys. A lot of y'all came against me. So I'm not really overstanding why you're so surprised. Why is it such a big deal now that she choose to get her son's fingernails painted rainbow colors when you guys support the rainbow agenda? So another thing, too, if you really think about it, it's black females that promoted the gay agenda. When we spoke out against dudes sagging their pants and we even put information out on where the sagging came from, it came from prison. It was to allow another man. It, it was to send a signal. A gay sin signal to another gay dude, possibly a download dude. And I spoke against the download dudes, too. And a lot of y'all came against me. But I spoke against that signal that gay dudes send out to each other. You sag your pants. That's to let another gay man know that your butthole is available. I spoke on that in videos of the past. And a lot of y'all attacked me on that. So there's a lot of black females that love dudes that sag their pants. They love these thugs, these homo thugs. We talked about homo thugs. So you have a lot of black females that prefer dudes that sag their pants. They prefer dudes that get inside with their, get in touch with their feminine side. And one thing that Alicia Keys mentioned that I hear a lot of so-called black conscious people. And this is how she's able to um, get inside a lot of your heads. When she start talking about the masculine and feminine energy. So why not tap into both the masculine and the feminine, feminine energy? So a lot of y'all are thinking like, that's deep. 
Yes, we, we do have masculine and feminine energy. But you also have positive and negative energy. So why not just tap into your negative energy? See, what about that negative energy out there that allow black people to kill black people? And maybe that's why a lot of black people support black on black, black violence. See, so if you're going to delve into your masculine and feminine energy, why not delve into the negative and positive energy? And what about not delving into that energy where you feel attracted to an animal? Or you support pedophiles that's messing with children? See, so I don't understand why a lot of y'all, you can't support righteousness one moment and then go harder for unrighteousness another minute. You have to make up your mind. The Most High says, I would have you to be hot or cold because when you're lukewarm, he'll spew you out of his mouth. And a lot of y'all know what it feel like to drink something lukewarm. It makes you vomit. Right. So you either you either going to be righteous or you're not going to be righteous. You have to make up your mind. You can't pick and choose. And that's what a lot of y'all are doing is picking and choosing. So my son made a video in support of that. And he's only speaking what's in his heart. And to an extent, he's correct. That's her child. If, if y'all are so concerned about these children, these little boys, number one, you wouldn't support abortions. Number two, you won't support the rainbow agenda or the gay agenda. You won't support that. You will be completely and totally against it. I don't care who in your family is down with the rainbow agenda. It can be your mom or your dad. Or even your own lover that's on the DL. And I question a lot of y'all black females in the past. When you were supporting the rainbow agenda. And you guys were calling me a homo, uh, uh, um, homophobic. And was saying the reason why I was so against it. Was because I was secretly homosexual. That's the reasoning that these demons have. A lot of y'all said that. And now you have the audacity to be upset with Alicia Keys. Or maybe you're just making videos for views. Because a lot of y'all really don't care. Because you support the rainbow agenda. See? And if we're not careful. And I hate to bring politics because this is a part of politics. Because you have an openly homosexual dude running for president. And because he's a demon crap, a lot of y'all will vote for him. Not because of the unrighteousness that he represents, but because of the fact that he's a demon crap, you will vote him in the office. And just think, just think, if we happen to get a gay president, if there's a gay president here in this country, you think Obama did some damage? And his agenda is going to be for sodomites and not for every American person. Watch what I say. So you have to be really careful when y'all start voting. Because you're voting your own life away when you vote demon crap. Right. So, but that's all I have to say about Alicia Keys and her son. And my son is correct. You know, that's her son. Why are you concerned about her son? See, a lot of y'all should be concerned about your own children, your own sons and daughters that have gone astray. And that is a part of the rainbow agenda. See, a lot of y'all are in support of that because you have children and you have uh, parents that support that nonsense. So because you have a relative that's gay, you still support that gay agenda. You have to choose sizes. You have to choose what side you're going to be on. Are you going to be on the side of the most high righteousness? Or are you going to be on the side of unrighteousness? You can't pick and choose. So a lot of y'all that's going after Alicia Keys are the same one that support the gay agenda. And you went out there, you party with them, you protest with them. And a lot of y'all females, you support uh, the homo thugs because you make it make them think that it's attractive, it's sexy to put on, to sag your pants. 
So a lot of these black females support that. So you're no different than Alicia Keys because you do the same thing. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.